What's up guys, this is Justin again, and I wanted to talk about some projects that get deployed manually or directly to the EV3. So now, in the past, we have gone over... Oh, apparently it didn't... Oh, I'm under the wrong thing. Okay. Okay, we have talked about these um, remote control robots which are um, remotely controlling our EV3 from our computer so we manually we do we run this as a Java application on our computer now we're going to talk about something that we will directly deploy to the robot so this is a lot simpler in the sense that we can just do motor dot oops fucking type motor dot b dot forward and motor b will move forward until it's told to stop so this stuff is pretty simple and then I'm actually gonna create a little timer here Public static void timer oops Try thread. Oops, thread. Got sleep. Two thousand. Catch. Exception. One. Oops. One. One. Print stack trace. I think I spelled this wrong. There we go. And that should be, oops, that should be all we need there. Timer. Yep, and then we do motor.v.stop true, which means it will stop immediately. And then let's just make it turn backward. I'm sorry, that would make it back up. And then, just need, need I just do it. Oh. There we go. Yep, I just do it so they stop the same way they were started. So let's just go through here and comment what we've got so far. Moves robot forwards for four seconds. Turns robot to B. So we'll see. Okay, turns robot to the left. Then we will make it runs alter alter for two seconds. Motor dot a dot forward or backward, whatever you want it to be. Timer. And then we're gonna float this motor so it doesn't make weird motions like it moves a little bit to try to hold it in place so we're going to do motor.a.float so that should be good um and then let's just make our robot turn back and then go back into the same position it was so actually we'll just copy the whole thing comment and all and so this 
this is going to be forward now. And this one will be backward. Then, just move this guy down here. And there you go. You got yourself a nice little autonomous loop. Now, for say we would want this robot to run this multiple times, what we could do is, let's say we want it to run it three times. We could do while, actually, hold on. Let's just do a static int. We'll call it loop count. So we will do loop. So we want it to loop twice, so what we'll do is while loop count is greater than zero, this, we will copy this. Is, oops, let's just cut that out. Then here we do loop count equals loop. And so what would happen here is every time it runs this loop, it will subtract one. So it starts at two, and then so it'll subtract one, and then it'll run it again. It'll subtract one. It'll be at zero. So while it's greater than zero, it will do that. But once it is less than once it's less than or equal to zero, it stops. And then if we wanted to, we could do else. Actually, that's not an if, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, that should really be, that's a pretty basic little program there. Um, if we wanted to set our speed, like, um, let's do this while loop count equals one. motor.b.set speed and then oh not five thousand <laughs> heavy uh, well first of all I think it maxes out with that Then we could do Oops. Just kinda something fun to do with that. Um Yeah, that's a pretty basic little autonomous robot for you. So this one, when you do this, you will actually deploy it directly to your EV3. Mine has been getting major minor errors lately. I'm not sure why, so that is the reason we're not going to um, deep. I won't show a progress video of that today because it works on my other computer that I did my first video on, but not this one. So I gotta troubleshoot that out. Figure out why that's not working. But uh, either way, if you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. If you got questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If there's anything wrong with this, and if there's anything wrong with it, sorry about that. Just leave a comment. I'll make a video correcting it or something in that direction. I'll leave it in the comments or something what the correct answer to the problem is or whatever. Either way, thanks for watching.